Vamos chegar agora numa questão do time dos anos 90 que, cara, é impossível, impossível a gente não falar, né? Knicks, anos 90, né? New York Knicks, é um dos jogadores, assim, que questão de personalidade marcante, né? Tanto que teve acontecimento em 2018, se eu não me engano, ou 2017, com o Dolan, né? Charles Oakley. <risos> Charles Oakley é uma figura icônica, né? Ele realmente ele ele é polêmico, né? Personalidade forte, né? E também podemos dizer que era um dos bad boys do time, né? Fazia o trabalho sujo, né? Dentro do garrafão, né? Protetor do aros, né? Protector of the ring. Né? e eu queria que você falasse sobre Charles Oakley, porque, inclusive, Charles Oakley, recentemente, também, né, é, lançou um livro, né, um, a book, né, Charles Oakley. Queria saber da tua visão, né, até, se, se você puder, lógico, comparar a sua visão e a dele, mas, principalmente, não sendo isso o principal, a, a sua visão, né, de Charles Oakley, querendo ou não, você teve que traduzir, né, uh, Charles Oakley nesse livro Blood in the Garden, né? Uh, qual a sua visão, né, sobre Charles Oakley? Yeah, Victor said, uh, is it possible don't talk about uh, Charles Oakley? Is 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 kind of awesome. uh, he's a is a someone where all Nick fans need to talk about. He said he have a strong personality. He's, uh, he's, he mentioned he's a, he's a, a bad boy, uh, protect the, the rim. The guy uh, did a, a dirty job at the, at the, the times and uh, sometimes uh, play so hard with intensity. But Vitor asked, uh, what's your vision about him? What do you think about Charles Oakley? So are we talking about Charles Oakley back then during the 1990s? Or are we talking about him now? Uh, that part, I'm not clear. No, no, no. 90s. On the 90s. 1990s. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because he's he's had a book come out now too. And it's 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 yes. funny timing that my book came out and then this came out right after. Um, yeah. During the 90s, I mean, he was, <laughs> he had, so he was, we, we talk about the Knicks and them being the reason that the rules change and the Knicks being the reason that the league wanted to change the rules. We could also just kind of say that Charles Oakley is the reason that some of those rules changed because, um, you know, the, the title of the book is Blood in the Garden, the Flagrant History of the 1990s New York Knicks. And, and at least in English, flagrant means both, you know, kind of in your face and really crazy and stunning. Um, but in basketball, it also just means, you know, it's a type of foul that is so dirty that they have to penalize you for it more. And Charles Oakley was kind of, he was kind of the exact, the best example you could have of someone that fouled someone too aggressively. Um, he had more flagrant fouls by himself one year than 15 NBA teams did that season. I mean, he was extremely flagrant. And that was the year that the NBA decided to change the rules around flagrant fouls because Charles Oakley was basically trying to foul people like that to stop them from coming to the basket. So um, he was really intimidating. It was very much on purpose. Um, every now and then he and his teammates did hurt people. And, you know, some people say that they missed the 1990s. And I, you know, I miss some things about the 1990s, but I don't really miss that part of it because I, the guys make so much money now. Um, and, you know, like we were saying before with the league protecting Michael Jordan, the league probably should try to protect Michael Jordan a little bit because the league doesn't want their best player to get hurt to where we can't watch them on television. I, I don't prefer to watch the NBA when Luka Doncic and LeBron James and uh, Trey Young and James Harden and Kevin Durant and Giannis can't play. I would much rather watch the games when they're available to play. And, you know, for, for people that have followed it closely enough, the Bulls had a player that got hurt a few weeks ago because a player from 
with him really aggressively as he was going to the basket and essentially he, he broke his wrist. Um, these guys make a lot of money, but even if they don't, the, the games matter to so many people. The game is so much more worldwide now than it was back then. Um, it doesn't help any of us to see these guys get hurt. And they're more athletic than they were in the 1990s. They're running faster. They're jumping higher. Um, and so there's more opportunity for them to get hurt. There's a lot more space that they're running around with, too, because, you know, the game, you know, you have Steph Curry that can shoot from 40 feet away. So there's a lot more room to run and a lot more speed to build up. So they can get hurt a lot worse if they get hit while they're in the air. So, um, you know, Charles Oakley was aggressive, but I'm kind of happy that we don't have that many players just like him in the NBA now because I feel like you would have a lot of guys that would get hurt. He said, Victor, he said, Victor, foi exatamente por causa de jogadores como Charles Oakley, né? Que a, que a Liga teve que, mudar, teve que mudar as regras, né? Exato. É, ele até mencionou que, te, né, que na temporada ele, ele teve, ele sozinho, teve mais faltas flagrantes do que 15 equipes da, da NBA. Né? Então, só para entender é, tal, tão longe que, que essas coisas aconteceram né, e tal... E ele mencionou que, que essa forma de, de jogar né, é, põe em risco os atletas naquele, naquele período né, e tal, e que continua, é, e, que, e que por isso que as regras mudaram, e ainda bem que mudaram, porque ele até mencionou que hoje, se tivesse esse tipo de atleta, colocaria o, o jogo em risco né, também, Exato. não só o atleta, né, porque as pessoas não é, partiriam mais para a pancadaria do que propriamente para o jogo de basquete. E, é, e, ficaria e, também, assim, ó. É, e, e também e também perderia muito atleta ele mencionou o que aconteceu com o Caruso por exemplo no jogo né é. o Memphis Grizzly que ele acabou se contundindo se machucando né uma falta flagrante muito forte e que e que por exemplo o jogo mudou os atletas agora ganham rios de dinheiro e tal mas mas que, que não é só essa questão né que também tem a questão a questão pessoal do jogo do, dos atletas em si né e que e que isso por si só já 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 indica que tipo assim que as coisas na liga realmente teriam que mudar como mudaram 